Of course, there's an alarm going off when I'm trying to film this video and it's been going off for like an hour. So I guess I'm just going to film it. I'll see if I can edit it out after. And if not, I'm sorry. I hope you can just listen to my words. Last night I had a dream that was kind of wild. I was invited to a reality TV show competition where they selected people that had individual talents and then they had them perform those talents. I said yes to the competition and in my brain I was thinking, oh, well, I have six talents. So I can do either one of these talents. When I get there, it will be fine. But I hadn't yet selected the talent that I wanted to do. I arrived to the show and I still hadn't given it much thought on what I was going to do. I was just excited to be there on show day. I go to sit in my seats and I get called up by casting and they tell me, what is your skill? What are you going to do? So after thinking about it for a second, I was like, oh, my biggest skill is gymnastics. Mind you, I haven't done gymnastics in 10 years. No, I haven't done gymnastics in like 12 years, maybe 13 years. It's been a long time. In your subconscious state, you have to remember you are thinking more clearly sometimes than you are in your conscious state. So I was like, yeah, gymnastics. And I started to get this humble mat ready and I started to get ready for my performance. They told me that I didn't have much time until I was up. And so I was just psyching myself out for doing tricks that I hadn't done in years. You're probably wondering, what does this have to do with anything? What does this have to do with the title? What does this what does this have to do with anything? Well, the thing is, I had six things lined up from my life in my brain, in my dream that I was very skilled at and that I could win potentially this competition in. And I think this is a dream that is so valuable because it shows you who you are without you even thinking about it. Gymnastics, pole vaulting, swimming, digital media productions and video editing, track and fields and fashion design. Those were my six. I was then thinking of what I would have chosen for the second option. And my second option to potentially win the competition was digital media productions. Then I started thinking, how long was I involved in these activities? Because I haven't done digital media productions in 10 years, 11 years. So after thinking about this, I realized my choice of what I was most talented in for this competition, even though it had been so long since I'd actually performed these things, was based on the length that I was involved in these activities. I did gymnastics for eight years. I was in digital media productions for five years maybe, but like very consistent. And by that, I mean, I was, I was a YouTuber when I was younger and I would film and edit and plot and create YouTube videos constantly. I wanted to be a digital media producer at that time when I got older. So all of this goes just to tell you, consistency leads you to where you are meant to be. And I think that's why a lot of times we look back at our life and we think, I'm so sad because I missed out on an opportunity that I was really good at. I missed out on continuing something by quitting it. I was devastated when I quit gymnastics, but I felt like I had to because I was exhausted with school. I was devastated when I quit YouTube years ago, but I quit because of family life and school. And when I look back, it's the things that hurt the most when you quit them that are usually the right things for you in life. And of course there's different situations and some things are very bad for you, but they make you feel some sort of joy. But these things were very good for me because I look at the point in my life that I was and gymnastics, for example, brought me through really dark periods of my life and kept me happy during really dark periods of my life. So did YouTube and editing. So I woke up this morning feeling like delusional because I've been having a really hard time dealing with my current situation. Because if I'm being honest with you, I have everything I want right now that I've wanted, I guess, in my life other than purpose. I'm living in Italy, a dream, Literally, I live in my own apartment that I love. It's a little bit messy right now, but we're, we're cleaning it tomorrow. I'm independent. I've fallen in love. I've been able to check that box off. I, I had a few things in my life that I really have wanted to experience. I feel like I've experienced them all. But the one thing that still trips me up is the fact that there are skills that I was so good at and I think I'm still good at. Once you're in something for a very long time, you become used to it and you can do it for a long time. I can still do flips and gymnastics. I can still edit videos very well. But what trips me up the most is that these things are things that I did years ago and I still feel like they are what could make me win an awards competition. Like these skills could make me win a TV show. And that's so interesting to me. But I guess because I've been thinking of this video idea and I've been thinking of how I have everything I want, but I'm not feeling fulfilled. It led me to this dream that showed me the things that I have in my life that have made me feel fulfilled. Things that I'm good at, things that I'm skilled at. And of course, the rest of those things on the list, I still value, but I just haven't 
been in them for as long. And consistency is key. I really believe if I would have stayed in gymnastics up until now, I would have become an extremely successful gymnast. Same with digital media productions. If I would have stayed as a YouTuber for much longer, I would have succeeded in that. I know I would have. So if you're not feeling fulfilled in life, make a list of the things that have made you feel in your life like you could win an awards competition. If you were called out by a TV show and they said, hey, you need to give us one of your top talents and you'll get on this huge TV show where we will give you a bunch of exposure, you could become very successful from this. I would hope that you would want to wing it and just say, yeah, sure, why not? But what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of what you are the most good at. And it might be a sport, it might be a job that you've had. For me, I had both on that list. But I'm saying this to say, consistency is one of the most important things in life. And as humans, we like to do things and get good at them and then leave, or at least I definitely do. It's one of my biggest downsides. And it's something that I really wanna work on because I, I have a pattern of getting very good at something and then quitting because I just feel like I've put the years in, I've done the work, and I feel like I'm kind of just like at the totem pole and it becomes less exciting for me, so I quit. And I guess I go towards things that feel the most exciting. But this is life. Life has longevity. If we constantly leave behind the things that we're most good at, we might get to the point where it's too late to continue those things. And it's not too late yet. So I'm going to really do my best to look at this list and decide what makes sense for me to go back to and see if the spark is still there and continue and what makes sense to set aside. Because you can't put all of your energy into all of these things. With longevity, it's better to select one thing that you're very good at and push it and that will lead you to success or your version of success. So we're starting with YouTube. I'm back on YouTube after 11 years of not being on YouTube. I'm doing Vlogmas now, honestly, just to push me to create content for 30 days so I can relearn the platforms, relearn the software for editing, relearn these things that I still have motor skills for, it's just been so long. But keep your list with you and be consistent. Once you choose the thing that you wanna continue, once you choose that thing that you are the best at, that you could win a competition in, keep going, keep doing it. It will pay off tenfold. Everything that you put time and energy into and passion into for a long period of time, builds skill set. Anything that builds skill set for a long period of time leads to the success that you envision. I hope this was helpful. I really feel changed after last night's dream and I didn't know that I would feel this way in a while. I've been in such a slump because I'm living my dream life. I have everything I want. I get my coffees every morning. I go on walks. I go to the river. I live in Italy where the architecture is so beautiful and the ambiance is just immense. But it's that passion that's lacking and I'm excited to win it back. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. I hope the alarm noise wasn't insane in this video, but have a great evening. Ciao, ciao.